Today's topic, understanding eager loading versus lazy loading in Laravel. Hi everyone, welcome to this Laravel tutorial. Today we'll be discussing two important concepts when working with database relationships, eager loading and lazy loading. By the end of this video, you'll understand the difference between these two approaches and know when to use each of them to optimize your application's performance. Let's start from section one. Section one, what is lazy loading? Lazy loading is the default behavior in Laravel when retrieving related models from the database. Here, we are fetching all posts and printing the title and the user who created each post. But wait, notice how we are accessing post username inside the loop. This triggers lazy loading, which means that for each post, Laravel will execute a new query to get the user. If we have 100 posts, this will run 101 queries, one query to fetch all posts plus one query per post to fetch the user. Section 2. What is eager loading? Eager loading solves this problem by retrieving all related models in a single query, reducing the total number of database queries. In this case, we use with user to tell Laravel to fetch all the posts and their related users in one go. So only two queries will be executed. One, one query to get all the posts. Two, one query to get all the users associated with these posts. Section three, when to use eager loading. Use eager loading whenever you know you'll need related data, especially if you're gonna loop through multiple records and access their relationships. In this example, we're eager loading both the user and the comments relationships. Laravel will fetch all the related users and comments in three queries, one for posts, one for users, and one for comments. Section four, summary of differences. First, lazy loading, fetches related data when it is accessed, can lead to the n plus one problem, running multiple queries, best for small data sets or when relationships aren't always needed. Second, eager loading, fetches related data along with the main model, improves performance by reducing the number of queries, best for larger data sets or when you know the related data will be needed. 